Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs. With the upcoming holidays, you may want your home decorated or maybe you want to do this as a business, earn some extra money or build a business around it. Uh, give them a call, 631-957-5106. They're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, and the website is liholidaylighting.com. And for the best prices in the New York City tri-state area and beyond on rock salt, OmniTrueValue.com is the place to go. They're at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125. As I said, the best prices you can find anywhere in the tri-state area, and there is a rock salt shortage. Prices are higher. Uh, it's going to be tough to get, so you might want to stock up before the winter comes. The website is omnitruevalue.com. Well, our nor'easter is moving away, and as you look on the satellite loop, uh, well, now that it's stopped moving, uh, we've got uh, the swirl of that system. You can see it pretty well, east, well east of the New Jersey coast and uh, continuing to move right along there it goes meanwhile you've got another rotation uh, back in the middle mississippi valley and extending from that is a weather front and showers and thunderstorms and those are heading up uh, to the northeast so in the meantime we've got a break today nice opening and we should have a fair amount of sunshine uh, at least to uh, sandwich a little bit of time in between these two weather systems. And, and the next weather system is going to be different from what we just experienced, and we'll get to that momentarily. In the meantime, uh, we want to take a look at what the Storm Prediction Center has to say uh, with uh, respect to these showers and storms. And you see them from northern Florida, northwestward through Georgia, uh, and then continuing on up into Illinois and Indiana, and then looping back around a low center that's in southwestern Missouri. So our low is pushing eastward and nothing going on on the radar from Maine down into uh, Virginia and North Carolina this morning, but at uh, the southern end of that is going to change uh, as uh, the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe weather uh, from the overnight forecast. We'll see what the daytime forecast does uh, when it comes out, but uh, I imagine uh, it'll remain the same. Slight risk up uh, to about Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, back to Raleigh-Durham, and then continuing down south into northern Florida and a narrow area of marginal risk to the north and west of that. Otherwise, we don't see much of anything going on in the northeast. Now, for tomorrow, when we start to get into our weather here for later in the day, and uh, Tomorrow night, uh, we will uh, have a general risk of thunderstorms reaching to about New York City and a small area of marginal risk in east North, eastern North Carolina and southeastern Virginia. Now, as far as rainfall is concerned, uh, we'll, this, uh, this is a seven-day forecast map for rainfall, but the vast majority of the time over the next seven days actually uh, is probably going to be more dry than anything else, although we will have some lingering showers around <clears throat> on uh, later Saturday and even a shower or two on, the, on Sunday. But I think the bulk of this is going to be falling uh, for uh, Friday night into Saturday morning, and we're looking at inch and a half to two, maybe locally two and a half inch amounts. On top of the rain from earlier this week, the ground is saturated. So I'm thinking the flash flood uh, thresholds are going to be very low. In other words, it won't take much rain to cause some flash flooding. And I would probably expect to see flash flood watches go up for at least parts of the area. Uh, for, we'll probably start putting them up later today or into the evening part of the weather services forecast. So let's look at where we're going with all of this. And uh, I'm using the GFS actual rainfall and not necessarily the radar. I want to just show something in the longer range. So as the nor'easter moves out, you still have this blocking high to the north. Now, if that block <clears throat> were holding, this low would move east and off the mid-Atlantic coast, and then we'd have another nor'easter. But it's not going to do that because the block up here in eastern Canada is breaking down very rapidly, and that is going to allow this system instead, it'll initially try to move east, but instead it's going to make a turn and go more northeast and pass by to our west. The only problem with this is that it's going to be doing it very, very slowly. So here we go with, this is at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We're, again, we're not looking at radar here. We're looking at measurable rainfall. 
and uh, in, in six hour increments. And the uh, rain comes in, reaches New York City probably Friday evening. And then we'll have, I think we're going to at the very least have some lingering rain or showers, at least through the first part of Saturday. And even on Sunday, there could be clouds and some lingering showers uh, because the low is taking forever to get out of the way. Next week, if you'll notice up in the Western Great Lakes and north and west of there, we actually have a cold front here with some genuine cool or cold air. I'll use the word cool, but relatively speaking, it'll be it'll be cold compared to what we've been been seeing, and that's going to be gradually working its way into the east. Uh, it may take a second push. These fronts like to get hung up uh, along the east coast. Uh, they we saw that all summer, and that's sort of happening again here until you can get a little wave to develop on it. And if you look carefully, that is light blue snow showing up in patches in northern New England. So there's a little wave that goes by on Wednesday. And then another wave that goes by on Thursday. And then behind that, and now we're looking at next weekend, we actually are seeing what looks like a genuine cold air mass coming down out of Canada. So the pattern, uh, we've been telegraph talking about this on some of our long range discussions with the change in the polar vortex in the stratosphere. It looks like uh, the overall pattern across North America is trending toward a colder one though there's been a, a total lack of snow cover up in, in Canada. And that is, um, that's an important factor to, to, uh, to consider uh, because uh, snow cover actually helps to produce cold air and not having it uh, means that the atmosphere has to work that much harder to get to develop cold air. So we'll see how, we'll see whether that snow cover issue changes as we go into the month of November. I suspect that it will, uh, but, uh, it's been very subpar up until then. Now, here's the radar with regards to the Friday system. So here we go. This is uh, Thursday evening at 8 o'clock, Friday morning at, at 8 a.m. Uh, rain is still nowhere close, so we'll be clouding up tomorrow by 2 p.m. The rain is in southeast and south-central Pennsylvania down into Maryland and Delaware. By 8 p.m., it reaches New York City. Uh, this is at 2 a.m. The back edge is at about New York City to Philadelphia, and then it just gets hung up there, and we see rain still at 8 a.m. going on from the lower Hudson Valley southward down through New Jersey, and even still hanging on into the afternoon and early evening. So Saturday really does not look like a good day at all now. And then uh, uh, Sunday, some lingering clouds and showers before weather conditions improve after that. So relatively speaking, Sunday is going to be the better of the two weekend days, but that's, <laughs> they're, they're both not, they're not, uh, both days are not going to be anything to write home about. Weather in Five is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125. For the best prices in the New York City tri-state area on rock salt, omnitruevalue.com is the website. And Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting, light, holiday lighting specialist meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, 631-957-5106. And the website is liholidaylighting.com. So you know what? Enjoy this nice day because it really is the only one we're, we've seen this week. And it's not looking too good for the next three. Uh, the Joe and Joe Weather Show will take up all of the, this and much more tonight at 8.30 Eastern Time, folks. So we're going to be on an hour later than usual, 8.30 Eastern Time. Have a great day.